Hello and welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. This week I want to talk about a tip that comes directly from a customer request. Recently we had a customer that asked me, hey Gus, is there any chance that I can dynamically make a field within a business process flow go into read only, um, you know, based on a condition. Basically, do what we can do with business rules, but on a business process flow. And obviously, with a business rule, we really don't make fields read only. Um, they do don't also apply specifically on a business process flow. We only apply business rules at the form level or at the entity level, but there's actually a way to accomplish this. And I think we're gonna go over the two minutes, but nonetheless, let's start the countdown and let's go. So let's go and pick an opportunity in here. Just any opportunity doesn't matter. So here we have one that has been on the develop stage for seven days. And let's just pick a field here like the customer need, just the first field in here. And let's just say that we're going to make this field read only when a condition happened. Now, I already kind of started a business rule uh, based on an estimated close date. Because we're recording this at the beginning of August, I'm just going to say that anything, anything that happened, you know, before the end of July, you know, will will, I don't know, maybe lock the field or make it read only and anything that happened after July will make the field not be read only, something like that. It doesn't really matter. What I'm trying to illustrate is the effect. Uh, the conditions obviously will vary depending on what you're trying to do. So let's go to the business rule that I'm trying to create. So as you can see, I already added the condition. Is it before July 31st? So as you can see right here, is the estimated close date greater than July 31st? All right, so here is the action that we're going to add. So the action is lock on lock. This is what we're gonna use in order to make the fields read only. So we're gonna move it in here and we're gonna say, uh, so we're gonna lock the, what was it, customer need, I think? So customer need. So the field is customer need, all right, and we're gonna lock it. So we're gonna scroll down, hit apply, then we're gonna click on that, copy and paste. We're gonna paste it here, and then all we're gonna do is unlock and change this to on lock. And now we have our reciprocal action. Okay, so just like that, we have an action that will lock and unlock the field just so we can see the effect. So let's go ahead and save it. And we are going to activate this rule and see how it looks. Notice that the scope of this business rule is entity. Okay, so I'm, I'm not doing this at the form level. I'm just doing it at the entity level. I already had this going um, and I'm going to navigate back into the opportunity. So let's go ahead and refresh this page and give it a shot. So as of now, the estimated close date you can see is June. So the field is available. So let's go ahead and change that and update it to, let's say, 8-1 which is after the 31st. And now, as you can see, the field is locked and read only. That's the effect that we're getting to. So once again, use the, the filter or the condition, that is something that you will adapt, you will change it. But the idea is that based on a condition, you can actually now lock fields within the business process flow, depending on a situation or a requirement from the business. That's the tip for this week. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next week.